YouTube, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Power 9 Quest. My name is Andy and today we are going to be diving into the complete edition of uh, Phyrexia All Will Be One. Now, I got just overwhelmed and like just kind of done with buying into new magic sets and it was like right as this one came out, I was like, all right, I'm not gonna get any of that. And then of course, it's like some super successful set that everyone loves. Um, but this is the one thing I did buy. I saw the oil slick cards and they were beautiful and I was like, oh cool. Wizards once again finds a way to make me want to give my money to them. Um, so that being said, at least it's something that has been, it's, it's, a good, it's worth buying clearly to have something of because this set has been super uh, well received. So let's dive in. Um, I don't know anything. I don't, and I don't even know the cards for the most part in this set. Uh, so I'm kind of like going in a blind. Uh, also, I'm probably never going to open it. Jeez, there we go. Um, so I'm guessing the oil slick comes in its own pack or something? Did you just get one? Like, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I, this is beautiful. I will say, though, this is... If I didn't know better... Oh, that's a bummer it doesn't come with any collectors. I, I don't... Like I said, I got this when, like, they dropped. I, like, pre-ordered one. And now I think they're actually, like, they went up a bunch in price. Um, so... So this will be... So this is the... Okay. So this is where the oil slick card or cards will be in. Uh, like, I haven't even, it's like, <laughs> I feel like Andy Dwyer from Parks. Like, I can't even uh, stress how much, how little I know about this. I didn't even read the back. I just found out there's set boosters in this. Okay, but we're just going in blind and we're gonna take a look at the set. Uh, these are, ooh, we got some Phyrexian action, appropriately so. Um, they're beautiful, they are beautiful. Let's, uh, let's dive in. My first, my first thing. Um, so yeah, how have you guys been? I'm I'm kind of back. I've been doing um, got the art series. Uh, I've been doing videos here more often. This is like my fifth fifth video in the last like week and a half. Uh, Playing our disruption, hazardous blast, um, furnace strider, infectious bite, ravenous nector necrotitan, vat emergence, necrogen rot priest, sinew dancer. Okay, Dark Slick Shores, we got a land, a land cycle. Um, I, this is one of the land cycles, I, I know that it's been printed a million times by now, but I like the, anything that like it potentially come, does not tap when it comes into play, uh, I dig it. All right, so let's get through these. There's a, there's a bunch of, is these 10? There's a stack, there's a stack, people. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to be opening up magic. It's, oh cool, really? It's like the normal version and then this, uh, which did anyone end up caring about these cards? I collected them for a while, and I guess I still, I guess I never stopped, I just like throw them in a binder, but I, I don't know. Ooh, we got, uh, we got some, some flavor back here. Chrome Prowler, Mandible Justicker, Orthodoxy, I'm gonna stop reading every single card. Uh, oh, is that, that's that, that's that same person, the Apostle of Invasion? No, that's a different person, but I'm guessing she works for this thing. Uh, that's awesome artwork, my gosh. Ossification. Ooh, Archfiend of Dross. Uh, full art. We got something. Caramonix or Borderless, whatever it's called. All right. Oh, and we got a Phyrexian Vendicator Mythic Foil. That was a really good pack. Holy cow. Uh, man, the artwork is awesome on this set. And that, they usually they usually rock that. Like, Magic is good about, like, keeping the like each set feeling like it's its own thing. And... Some of the artwork and the styles, it's just like, I I, it, I think it was like, what is it, Modern Horizons 2, like the uh, the showcase on that, I didn't care about, but usually they're beautiful things. Like the uh, Strixhaven, those uh, those mystical archives that no one cared about, like in the long, in the, in the grand scheme. I collected that whole set and I was like, this is awesome looking. Quicksilver Fisher, uh, Green Sun's Twilight. And again, I don't know anything about this, so if I, I if I pull like the second coming of the Black Lotus and don't know, sorry. Um, I guess the second coming of the Black Lotus just happened last year, right? Too soon. Um, all right, Furnace Skull Bomb. That, what is, that's like a card I just want to play. I'm going to play a Furnace Skull Bomb and send it at your face. Okay. Uh, yeah, this would be fun too. It would be fun. I haven't done like a draft of a new set in a long time, and since this is popular, I should I should get some of these. Shieldred's Edict. We want the actual Shieldred, please. Although that's, dude, that's talk about it. Ooh, we got a little uh, list action. I completely forgot about that. Like I'm saying, I'm, I am disconnected from the whole uh, from new magic right now. 
Um, I, actually, I've, I've just been, what I did do, here's a magic story. Uh, my wife, I taught my wife how to play magic years ago, and it's been a while. So I was like, man, you know, my son and I play every, every pretty, like, we'll go through spurts where we play, like, for a week, and then we'll, like, go a month without playing. Um, but I was like, man, I should get my, my wife in on this, so, because she would love it. She likes, she likes games. Our whole family's a big game family, which, if you're into card games, you probably are, too. Uh, incubation sack. <laughs> Why did I... <laughs> okay, keep going. Thrumming bird. Koth, fire of resistance. Uh, planeswalker time. Um, uh, so I, what I did is I was like, what you know, I learned back in like 4th edition era. Uh, and I wanted to just have those cards because they're, I just, it was easy to wrap my brain around the mechanics when I learned. Um, and so I built some like, just using my revised and 4th bulk. I made like three different decks and we started playing it. Although I need to do, I need to keep playing because we played one game and she got it. And then if we don't play for four more years, it doesn't do anything. Zenith Chron Chronicler. I don't want to say that ever again. Okay. Why do we have a random, I don't care about. That's one thing magic has done is made me not with all the, the, uh, the collector's edition and stuff. They have made me not care at all about foils. In fact, I prefer like if I'm building a deck, I prefer like this card than like an extended art flashy thing. I, I don't know. Maybe, is that just because I'm old and I've been playing this for long and I gotta be cranky? Serum Sovereign and uh, all will be one. Ooh, oh, there we go. We got the we got the we got the card set card. Um. Uh, nice. And again, I, I don't know if that's worth anything, but I do like in the set boosters how you can get the extended arts now. That is uh that is cool. What did I do? What did I do to it? Why did I cover it up? Whoever noticed that. At least I corrected it, right? When people do that, it's weird. You know, when you're filming these videos, you know, like when I'm watching content, I'm like, well, how would that person miss this or not understand something? And then when I'm filming, I'm like, oh, I get it. Because you're like thinking about three different things in addition to, you know, you're making a YouTube video. You're uh, worried about your how you're laying things out. Uh, in the Antiquities War. Cool. List action. Um, so, yeah. Or like you just forget a card name and then like off camera, I'll be like, I'm so stupid. How did I not know cosmic horror? Like I know what a cosmic horror is, but in that moment I didn't. Uh, there we go. Ooh, we got some, look at this. We got a line. All right, come on. Be one of the big dogs that I don't necessarily know about. Uh, Cinder slash Ravager, Atraxas, Skitterfang, Merc, Convert, and Skrelf. We got Skrelf, the Deflector Might. Um, so is this like, uh, look at this art, look at this art style. Is this like with all the extended arts that are like that? Or is that just like a series of creatures? Is it just all the Phyrexians? Phyrexian might, Phyrexian demon. Okay. Well, here's a monument to perfection. There we go. Here's to perfection. We got three more packs and then we get to do the, the special fancy pack. Hopefully there's something good in here. Um, hopefully this is, you know, I'm glad to have these cards and whatnot. But I, I, I looked, I checked the prices and I think I got this for like 80 and I think they're already up to like 115 right now. I was like, that's a, geez. These are probably gonna just one and done go away and then be expensive. Annex Sentry, Distorted Curiosity. Pretty cool product though. I mean, 80 bucks is a lot. 115 is even more. Um, all right, two more chances. Oh, this makes me wanna play Magic. Magic will forever have my heart as like the greatest game ever. Mountain. Tyrannix, Atrocity, Sinew Dancer. Ooh, look at this Flensing Raptor. It looks like a, uh, that reminds me of, um, what are the things in Harry Potter? The, um, that you see when you've seen a dead, when you've seen death. Oh, there's Norn's Wellspring. Um, Thestral? Thestral? Thestral. Yeah. All right, last pack. Come on. Let's pull that Mox Jet. Let's have a, a 30 year misprint mistake. Um, Testament Bearer. Chimney Rabble. Well, that's a creepy artwork. That's awesome. Veal of Assimilation. We are the Borg. All right. Uh, speaking of Borg, I mean, or well, Star Trek in general, uh, Glissa Sunslayer, and that's a really pretty floral. foil. Okay. Uh, so, I don't know. We got, that's not bad. We got two mythics, right? We got some extended arts. That's pretty fun. Um, but speaking of Star Trek, the new Picard. Holy cow. Holy cow. All right. So I'm, these are what made me want to buy the product. And holy cow. I'm putting these in a binder just to stare at. Please have all five lands. Nope. Okay. Oh, is it just a land pack? All right. Oh, gosh. 
This is the most beautiful, this is like one of the most beautiful magic cards I've ever seen in my life. And again, actually, I don't know. I, I would consider playing this a deck, but I would traditionally, I just, even I like to go back to like unlimited or like third edition era for, for my land. But I, will, I do appreciate, oh, when a card's like this. Okay, so we get, we get one. That's what we got. Oh, we got two. Oh! I think, I think this is the big baddie. Is this it? I didn't, because I see people post things. Holy cow, we got two? We got two mythics? Holy cow, I'm gonna look that up. But if I'm celebrating for no reason, I'm sorry. But I think we just nailed it. I think we just hit it out of the park. Uh, wow, what a cool product. I'm gonna get sleeves in these. Um, I'm, the next thing you, you see with Magic, it'll probably be an older uh, opening, like the Dark or maybe Legends or something. But this was fun. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, I'm excited though, guys. I plan on doing a lot of magic, a lot of all card game videos this year. Um, Lord of the Rings, I'm insanely excited for. Uh, there's a lot to come, okay? So hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna end this video and do some Googling and get these in sleeves and just stare at them for about a month straight. That's what I'm doing for the next month of my life. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. I looked it up and it was a $90 card, marketplace value. Uh, but thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more magic and other card game openings, uh, hit the subscribe button. I would totally appreciate that. And I will totally appreciate you, no matter what you choose to do, for the most part in life. Goodbye.